Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Now this is the episode where I go hunting. And I ain't gonna hunt around. The first place that I need to go is apparently right here because in this general area there is what is known as the Trapper. And the Trapper is what I've been looking for this entire time. The guy that's gonna help me get the recipes that I need to be able to make what I want to make. And that may include a certain possum hat. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that, but I'm gonna go all the way over there and I'm going to kill every animal I see on the way over. My god, it is foggy out here. Also, I feel like I have to sneeze. I'm gonna... <coughs> okay. Thank you. Okay. I'm better now, I think. I don't know why, but I've had, I've had this constant feeling that I needed to sneeze for a while and that finally paid off in dividends. I think it's the fogginess of this area. So, we're gonna- you have entered legendary animal territory, but it will take some time before the animal returns to the area. Oh, Is it because I didn't do it? Is it the- oh, is this a legendary fox? But whatever, it don't matter. It don't matter, it don't matter. Ooh. Hello, you. Okay, there we go. Alright, got that taken care of. Yeah, so, in the meantime, we're just gonna be sitting around, chilling, chatting, enjoying the, uh, you know, level one. Yeah, whatever. We're gonna be enjoying the lovely, 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 lovely environment and talk about some stuff that we want to talk about. Yeah. Oh, so, a while back I was talking about my trip to Korea and I also realized that I, I have a lot of stories from Korea but I never really got around to telling them. I always thought that I would find a place to do it when I'm in a game but it always ends up being like, God damn it, this XYZ happens and I can't do nothing about it, but now I can, so it's nice. And, uh, one of the- one of the greatest things about my trip to Korea was just the ability to appreciate this part of me that I've never really embraced before. And I've said that before, but it- like, it really, really, really me it meant a lot to me just because, like, I am half Korean. For those of you who still don't know, somehow, I am half Korean, yes. And, uh, when I was growing up as a kid, you know, I didn't really get a chance to embrace any of that. It wasn't just a part of my child. There wasn't any any sort of that, you know. As a kid growing up in a small town called Milford in the middle of uh, Ohio, you don't get a lot of uh, reinforcement about your cultural heritage, so it ends up you just kind of do whatever you can to not stand out nearly as much and kind of fit in where you can. Sorry! Didn't mean that. Yeesh. Okay. Well, I got one! <laughs> I kinda. Anyway, kind of beat up a little bit, but that's all right. Yeah, so, but when I went to Korea, like, one of the things that I really noticed isn't so much that, like, I, I, I didn't really identify with all of the, ugh, ugh. It's not like that I super identified with the culture or anything like that, because it's super hard to say that and do that uh, when <laughs> this is the first time I've gone over there for appreciating it. But what I did realize is that I could. I felt like I could. I felt like I could really be a part of it and I felt like I wanted to. Whereas I was starting to learn Korean just to try to learn Korean for the sake of speaking with my family, I want to now learn Korean for the sake of kind of living in Korea. And one of the best ways that I could possibly do that is by going over to Korea and living there for at least a little bit of time. Hello. Uh, okay, hi. How are you doing? What is this? Hi? What the devil are you looking at? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, none of this in front of me is weird right now. I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined? How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I didn't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. Why? My animals, they escaped. 
And now I'm... I'm buggered. Uh, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu Heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra <laughs> roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret, <laughs> mistress of fucking danger. <laughs> yep. Okay, all right. I'm not doing that. <laughs> There's no way in hell I'm gonna help you, Margaret. But uh, maybe not right now. Maybe I will eventually, because that's amazing. But at the same time, I already have a mission for this, and it's uh, hunting down different animals and. I have a funny feeling you wouldn't be too appreciative if I murdered all your animals. So I'm not gonna do that. Hello! Hi there. Hello? What? What? Again! 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 What the hecking heck? What the hecking heck? It just lets go. I think my controller might be broken because I've dropped it and probably thrown it at some juncture or another. Hey, can you come back here? Ooh! Yeah! <laughs> Come on now, now don't let go. Don't let go. Man, you could impale me real easily with those. Okay, yeah. So, uh, what was I even talking about? Oh yeah, so uh, I feel like I could really go to Korea. Like, go there, enjoy the land, enjoy everything about Korea, really learn the language and immerse myself in the experience of it. Like, if I live there for about two months. I figure that's what I want. Like, and and I and I don't know exactly how I'm gonna work for it, but uh, I mean, I, you know, I, I I say that, but obviously it would be a lot easier for me to do than pretty much anything. I could just go there. I have family there that would take care of me, and I could stay with them. Or I kind of want to live on my own just to see like what it'd be like to live in Seoul. And I know the whole renting system is weird over there, so I got to deal with that. I think I can only carry one of those. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna see. Hey, I'm on come I'm coming to get you. I'm coming to get you. I've I've been so I've been so like I don't know, I've been so in my own bubble as far as living. Not not in YouTube or anything. This is like personal stuff. Like I've been in so in my own bubble and I I sometimes forget that I can just do whatever I want. Like whenever I can. Wait, what was that? Sadie has asked for a harmonica. Oh, I didn't even know I could do that. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. So, like, I could. I could go, like, I could leave- well, I got tour. <laughs> I got tour, but, like, if I had some free time, I could just, like, go find a flight, same day, go out there, bring some recording equipment, and make some- make some videos while I'm there. Can you get over here? You- what the- there we go. Can you get over here? A little closer, please, a little closer. Yeah. Anyway, that's besides the point. The logistics of it aren't exactly what I was talking about, but- yeah, I just, I really like the culture of it. I really feel like I can be part of it. But then again, I've also got the option, the funny option, that in LA, there's this place called Koreatown, and you can legitimately just, um... Oh, yeah, you can't do it. Okay, well... Uh, forget this, how do I drop you? Yeah, you can only do one of those at a time, but an unlimited number of pelts. So I could, uh, I could just, like, go to Koreatown every day and just kind of hang out there, which could be fun. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, I'm not sure if it would be entirely the same experience, but I mean, Koreatown is... I mean, it's Koreatown, so you wouldn't be too far off from the general experience of it. How- again! 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 Why- because it, it automatically hops off the horse when that does that, so it's not like I have a choice, it just gets too far away and then suddenly it's gone. I would join you, but I don't want to take my weight off. In that weird way that you suggested me to. There's a lot of options that I can do, and it's it's all it's all leading into like what I want to do in the next decade of my life. Cause next year I'm gonna be 30 years old. I'm gonna hit the big three zero. And I kinda wonder like what I'm gonna be doing after that. I know it's not in any way, shape, or form old, but it will feel old. Like I I'm 29, I already feel old. 
Uh, but when it comes down to, um, when it comes down to living, like, the next decade of my life, I really do wonder, like, how's it gonna shape up? What, what are my pursuits gonna be like? What am I gonna, what am I gonna, what am I gonna be focusing on? Am I gonna be focusing on, uh, like, trying to improve the videos that I make? Cause I'm probably gonna be doing YouTube for the next few years, at least, in one shape or another. And, and just, like, what is that gonna be? Like, do I wanna go and make some movies, which I could do? Like, see how that goes. Do I wanna try to, uh, start a business of some sort? Like, what am I gonna be doing in my 30s? Because my 20s are largely defined by what I did on YouTube. I started my YouTube channel when I was 22, just before I turned 22 years old. Like, it was, or 23 years old. So I was like, two months away from 23 years old, I started my channel. So from 23 to 30 was all that I do and all that you see right now. And then, I don't know, what's, what's 30 to 40 going to be like? <laughs> what am I going to be like when I'm 40? Yeah, I can't even imagine that. I mean, I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to be like when I'm 30. At least I'm going to be moderately healthier, because I've started running lately, and for some reason, I never thought that I would, but I like running. I just enjoy it. It's something that I can actually get behind. Uh, so I feel healthier, and I feel like I'm actually getting in shape. I feel excited when I get ready to run, and even after I'm done running, I'm like, Oh boy, I wish I could run some more, which is an experience that I never thought I'd ever have, but I'm not worried about my health. I'm not worried about all that. I've had enough health scares in my 20s, and I'm sure I'll have more health scares soon, but... Yeah, it's just like, what am I gonna do purpose-wise? Because a lot of what I do on YouTube is very purpose-driven. I feel, I feel like a lot of what I've done and what we've done as a community has accomplished a lot in terms of helping people and spreading a lot of goodwill. And, and I wonder if it's gonna carry on in the same way that it's been done, or if there's gonna be some new form that I'll have to explore. You know what I mean? I don't know where it's gonna lead, and I don't know how I'm gonna get there, but I know that I'm gonna keep working at it. And, all I can do is be curious about it. <laughs> oh, wait, that's the trapper. That is, that is the trapper. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing? Hey, friend. Hey, how are you? That's hey, buddy. I don't know about here. No, no, no. Sorry, partner. How you doing? Listen, I'm going to buy some Take stuff. Take care. If you're traveling, I might see you along the way. Ooh, clothing. Whoa. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, those are perfect! Oh, those are so good! Oh, those are less good. Come on, where's all the fur hats? Oh, hell yeah. Oh my god, that is amazing. <laughs> Oh god, I uh oh god, the fox one. Oh god. That's so terrifying. It's so horrifying. That's the scariest thing. But the beavers with the flippers. Oh my god. That's so funny. Okay, hang on. Hats, vest. Ooh. Ooh, not bad. I don't think I have any perfect hides at all. Yeah, I don't think I have any of those garment sets. The bear. Oh my god. Oh my god. Legend. Oh. <gasps> wait. Wait, wait. I can get that right now. Because I killed that legend. That, that's what it said. I thought it said that it kept my legendary bear pelt. I've got three of those bad boys. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. God! <laughs> I'm getting this hat. I'm getting this hat immediately. I'm putting that hat on my head. And I'm never letting it go because it's my favorite hat. Slightly warm, pair with other warm items for protection against the cold. Nope, I'm good. Always wearing it, never taking it off. Oh my god. I am so happy. I am the happiest man. Hello, sir. Look at my hat! <laughs> this is the greatest day of my life. This is the greatest day of my life. This is the greatest day of my life. I've never had a greater life day than today. <laughs> Just what is the problem here? Nothing's a problem, man. Nothing at all. Let me show you this, because man, oh man, am oh, I happy oh, about this. Would you just leave? What are you, what are you doing? I'm trying Thanks, to do some... Man. I'm trying to do some business with you, man. Come on. Come on, man. Okay, I'm going to keep the perfect deer pelt, because that's good for crafting. But I'm gonna get rid of everything else. Okay, that's some good money. Not that oh, good money. You new to these parts, sir? 
I'm a blowin' myself. You're a blowin'? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna hop out of here before you start a blowin' me. So uh, have a good day. I thought that this was going to be a different adventure where I was going to have to hunt down a uh, special beaver and get a special beaver hat or a possum hat, but this has turned out much, much, much better <laughs> than I ever could have hoped ever in the history of forever. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Okay, so let me, uh, I guess I go back. Wait, I got, uh, there's M.A. What is M.A.? Margaret? What is Margaret for? Oh, Margaret's zebra should be here. Okay. Let me go for BB. Uh, Black Bell on the way here, because it's right there. So I'm a, I might as well take care of Black BB as I go by. I'm, I'm so happy. You guys don't understand how happy I am. Because, number one, things never work out for me like this. Things absolutely never 100% work out for me like this. So to have just this fall in my lap where I have the bear pelt already, the trapper's got it, I get my hat, that's all I wore. Ah, no! Wait! No! Oh, God! <sighs> my perfect. Okay, that's fine. I got my hat though, okay, I got my hat. So long as I got my hat, I was so worried. I got my hat, we're good. Let's just not fall off any mountains. I gotta stop going off the trail because every time I go off the trail, bad shit happens to me. So if I can just stay on the trail, everything's gonna be good. I'm gonna be a happy man. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm a happy boy. I'm a happy boy. So I wanna like, the way I picture it, with my life and what I've done thus far, the YouTube channel. Yep. Help me. The pox. Why should I help you if you've got the pox? That don't sound too good. I am well. Okay. Hands up. <laughs> You trying to rob a sick man? I was trying to help. <laughs> Bullshit you was. You move and I'll shoot you. Ow! <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, what the hell? Well, that's not gonna work for you. And in the back of the head, and in the back of the head. Go. Oh, you're still alive? Ow. Okay, thank you for that. And uh, I'll take you back everything that you just took from me. I meant to- I, I thought I hit the button when it told me to hit the button, but like these are- these are mechanics that I've never seen before, so... <laughs> Wouldn't know when that was happening. Oh, these guys really do have the box, though. Maybe I shouldn't be touching them. I don't know if that's a thing that can happen in this game. Hey, take from the rich. Oh, yay! Horte! Horsey! Ooh, is there some stuff over here? Hmm. Okay. I don't know what this is, but I got some of it. Oregano! Ooh, I like oregano. Yeah. Alright, let's keep going. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, if you think about, like, from 23 to now, like, the YouTube channel has been my big project. Whereas everything inside the channel has been smaller projects. Different things that I do, but the overarching theme of my 20s is that I made a YouTube channel. Like, that is the overarching theme. So I'm like wondering, like, what is the next 10 years of my life gonna be? I know thankfully, like thankfully, I, I know thankfully that, um, like, I'm probably gonna be able to have the freedom to do whatever I want, which is not something that everybody can say. And I know that, and I know that I should never take that for granted, because I, I never will. And I never want to forget, like, the people that helped me along the way, like the friends who were there for me and you guys who supported me the entire time. That's something that I can never forget. But I also wonder, like, what what next thing am I going to try to make myself improve at? What, what next thing am I going to try to build myself up about? What next thing am I going to conquer? Like, what am I going to do? Because me as a person, I'm very much defined by the goals that I put in front of me. I'm very much built up by 
like the challenges that I see on the horizon. I'm very much like encouraged by the next thing that I could possibly do. And I always look at it like that. Oh, this area is really cool. I haven't seen any police like it yet. And so when it comes down to hopefully having something more down the road, I would only want to do that if it was fulfilling and it was challenging and it really pushed me as an individual and it made me take risks because it, being where I am and all the success that I have, like on the counter side of that is like, all having all that success makes it very difficult to push myself in a way that makes me risk you everything. Oh. Whoa. Hello? Hello? You a bounty hunter? Well, not right now, I ain't. You Black Bell? I'd like to talk to you about your Wild West days. I don't care much for reminiscing. You got any friends as bounty hunters? None that spring to mind. You like my hat? Well, then you done led them boys here, and you none the wiser. Ah, those bounty hunters. Knew my luck had run out sooner or sooner. Well, get inside. I'll tell them you're gone. Oh, no, no. I ain't hiding from them scalp hunters. Not running from them, neither. And fighting? Yeah, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right. Get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole oh. place is wired. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Black Bell. Oh, we friendly got soon. got a contract here for your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. That's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop just there. Now. <laughs> oh god, I'm out of I'm out of dead eye. Whee! Bonk. They're trying to flank us. How are they trying to flank us? How many of these guys have they got? Oh gosh. They got a lot more than I thought they might. Wait, we're we're here? Put 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 push it! Ow! <laughs> Man, a lot of people suddenly came after you all at the same time. No wonder. How did? Why did you even let me up to your front? Whoa! Shit! That's not. That's not good. Oh! Good thing I had a little bit of dead eye left. Let me detonate this. Oh! Not that one. Oh, I love her. I love her so much. Yeah. You got them scalp hunters off your back. Yeah, for now. <laughs> for now. So. You gonna tell me about your Wild West days, running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight, and that's about the end of it. Well, a man's apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say, but uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. The ones of us that live that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. Well, what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. <sighs> Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna need your picture too, if it ain't a trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> oh, great. Look, you stand over there and oh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Good stuff. Oh, okay. good stuff. I got it. <laughs> and I guess I'll be on my way. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh. Been running for 20 years. Suppose I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Yep. 
If you ever wanted to. Ever wanted a crew? We got a. God damn, she was awesome. What the hell? Why you gotta leave? No, Black Velvet, you're so cool. You were so cool. That's it. Oh my god, she was so cool. Whoa, what was that? What the hell just happened? All right then. <laughs> Man, they're just gonna introduce a character that cool and just she's gone, like just like that. That is outrageous. I can't believe that. That is so cool. I hope we see her again. I really hope we see her again because that was amazing. Oh. Oh, oh God. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh, he is in the muck. All right, you know what? I don't feel too good about looting these bodies, mostly just because they're horrible and covered in, in many types of shit. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, back to f waxing philosophical about my life. <laughs> yeah, because, um, like, I've talked about it before. I, I don't think that I'm going to be doing... I... Oh, hello, man! I join you for a ride. Just... <laughs> That was not. Ah, oh, what the? What the, the? God damn it! I didn't. God damn it! I was just trying to live. Stop! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! There we go. Health tonic. Thank you. <laughs> I'm. Just, I, I need a second to reel from what just happened. All right, let's get back to town. Let's go see what's going on over here. Uh, but yeah. So, I, I know for a fact that I'm probably going to be playing video games in one way or another until the day I die. Like, video games are an integral part of my life. But I also don't know if I'm going to be doing Let's Plays until the day I die. Like, who knows what kind of content people will be making or watching, like, in the next ten years. And uh, just, to, just to, like be all like, oh, I'm old. Like, uh, just looking at the, the technological advancements of the last 10 years alone that I've been, like, living, just seeing how far things have come from, the, like, the cell phone era that only started in 07. It's 2018. That was just over 10 years ago now. Not the cell phone, the smartphone era. It's just, like, seeing how that's happened and how that's, like, moved forward. And I can't imagine what kind of technological progress we're going to make in the next 10 years. What are we going to see? What's going to happen? How is it going to change the creator economy? How is it going to how is it going to change you guys in what you make next? Like what's going to happen? What are people going to see? Like am I even going to adapt to it? Am I even going to want to adapt to it? Am I am I going to like be set in my ways and be like it was better back in my day when you had to make a let's play with a with a screen recorder and a camera. We didn't have this beam casting directly into their eyeballs nonsense. People weren't virtual realitizing inside my recording room. We weren't all on a couch together. It's bullshit. But I know that I'm going to keep changing. Because for me, life is change. You always change. You always got to change. If you stay the same, you're never going to get anywhere in life. Like everyone that wants to hold on to something, it never made sense to me. That whole mindset that you could stay the same and you keep things controlled and you hold on to what you have never made sense to me. That's why I've always said, you know, I didn't care if my channel died tomorrow. It's not that I didn't care about a channel. It's that, you know, if it does, I'm ready to move on. If it does die, or if for some reason it does go away, I am ready to move on to something new because I like the idea of the challenge of it. I like the idea of seeing what else I can do, of being forced into a circumstance where I have to change and I have to adapt and I have to do something new. And I have to see what life is going to throw at me and I have to roll with it or else I'm just going to end up being rolled over. Like that's, that's the only real set rule there is, is that there will be change. You have to adapt or you die. And that's been the that's been the rule of life since the beginning of it. So, yeah, why should I try to make it any different? And technology is just going to make it wildly different. I think that's that's definitely going to be something that's going to be ingrained in whatever I do next. The, the the deep appreciation of of technology and trying to build something off of it. And if I do start a comedy or if I do do different videos, it'll be... Hello, John. Goodbye, John. Yep, it's me. It'd be something to do with technology because for me, like, technology and advancing humanity and making sure that humanity is always moving forward, like, that's just, 
That's just essential for me. There, there, there really is no other thing to do besides that. And making sure that mindset is, is spread as far as wide as it can be and making sure that people's minds are always pushing forward you, is essential. All right, Bill Williamson. What the hell are you going on about? You've been trying to get my attention for three goddamn episodes now. What do you want? What do you want, Bill? The hell do you want? We got something cooking you might be interested in. Okay, like fine. Of this. Been cooking since Horseshoe, but you went and kicked up all that commotion in Valentine. Now, we was preparing to rob the bank there until you got involved in all that nonsense, and I don't know, I just feel like it's unfinished business. That wasn't my fault. It was just one of them things. Now, how come every time I get in trouble, I'm called a fool and an idiot? But when you get in trouble, oh, it's just one of them things. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. Very good point. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. All right, well, what do y'all want me to do? Well, hit the goddamn bank with us. <laughs> You really think it's worth going back there? Four of us can hit the bank easy, but I ain't gonna lie to you. There will be law if we linger. And if we're serious? No, just local boys being rounded up and pressed into action. Meaning? If we go in quick and quiet, we can hit it just fine. If there's four of us, I mean. Y'all think it's worth the risk? It's a bank, Arthur. So? Is the take good? According to the fella I met, yes. It's the end of the stock sales. Plenty of money and plenty of people milling about. <sighs> All right. I suppose it's worth taking a look at least. We should All wait right. until morning. In any case, I need to change out of these rags if I'm going to be performing. Okay. So, Bill, this better be worth it. Oh, it is. We put a lot of research into this one. I hope so. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I'll believe it when I see it, Bill Williamson. Right. Let's go. Ooh! Mr. Morgan! Herr Strauss? That man. The debtor, Thomas Downs, apparently he's dead. Dead? Huh. Well, no, he didn't seem very well. His wife. I believe he has a wife and child. She will assume the debt, of course. Of course. Then you can head up there and collect. We lent them a lot of money. Okay. Gentlemen, let's go rob ourselves a bank. Wow. What's the plan, then? Oh, we're gonna send Karen on in ahead as a uh, distraction. Then we're just gonna rush on in afterwards. Just a small bank in a little town, nothing that big in way of security. We just need to bring you along as a insurance policy. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, it sounds about right. All right, follow me. Okay. Ooh, while I'm in town, maybe I can get my beard trimmed up. I think it'll match my, where's my hat? Where is my hat? Where's my hat? Good sir, where's my hat? Hang on, wait, can't, I gotta get my hat. Hang on. Guys, I can't rob a bank without my hat. I really, really, really cannot rob a bank without my hat. Where is my hat? I gotta get my hat. Anybody got my hat? Anybody seen my hat? Hat? Anybody seen my hat? You guys didn't take my bear hat, did ya? You wouldn't have taken my bear hat, cause you'd be dead. God damn it. Where's my hat? I will abandon the gang. I will, in a heartbeat, abandon the gang if it means that I get my hat back. Am I honestly gonna go into this mission hatless? You're gonna make me do that. You're gonna make me do that. You sons of tits. I will stab you all in your sleep. I swear to God, I will. Fine. Whatever. Okay. Let's move out. Let's move out then. Got a long road ahead of us. We really gonna be going all the way over to Valentine? That's a hell of a journey. All right, you better entertain me with some dialogue. Cause while you're here- uh, What's the idea here? Karen gonna distract him? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. She makes one of her scenes, catch him off guard, then we move in. Make one of her scenes? Charming. I'll have you know I'm a professional. Is that so? She is real good. I can give you drunken harlot, of course. Lost little girl. Whatever the crowd wants. What about lost little drunk girl? Only you would want that. Then me and Lenny will deal with the guards and the customers while you hit the vault. I thought you only brought me for insurance. All right. I'll hit the vault. No, no. I got it. Okay, and that's it? That's it? I just... I just put some... I mean, it's, um, that's rude. I can't talk in here at the same time. You out of gourd? Yeah, go. We're going all the way to Valentine's. We're going to go in silence. Really? I mean, this is beautiful. This is goddamn beautiful. But I've said that like ten times now. I gotta get something new to say. 
Oh, and it's fucking beautiful, which it is. I mean, we look good. I mean, we look real good. I won't deny, we look good. But my god, we are not moving. Okay, fine. You know what? Screw this. I'm going around. Get out of my way! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! If you're not gonna jabber at me, you gotta- Ooh, wait. Can I talk to these people? Can't believe you got oh, me going back I to gotta talk to you. Don't tell me it ain't hurt you leaving <laughs> that bank behind. Not really. Work a town and not hit the bank? <laughs> That's downright pathetic. Okay. I guess we went a bit beyond working it. We shot the place to hell. You did, Morgan. Not me. I played it cool up there. Couple of punch-ups. Dealt with some old Driscolls. Oh, is that right? Like I said, you mess up. It's just one of them things. I mess up. I'm the prize idiot. Well, Bill, I don't know what to tell you. Surprised you ain't already ripped me about that dynamite again. One mistake, and I'll never live it down. What do you need? A pat on the back? A medal? Just know, I got the lead on this one. We'll see about that once things get going. Glad you and Lenny are along for this, Karen. Someone's gotta oh keep you beautiful. boys out of trouble. I ain't sure even Lenny can be relied on to keep his head. Not after that night you two had in Valentine. Yeah, I've been trying to forget that. What little I remember. Not me. You've always been a bad drunk. Lenny and, and I. Before we are you say best. it, I know. Takes one to know one. Guess we'll never learn. And Bill ain't much better. So should we stop for some whiskey? <laughs> How about we wait till after the bank, alright? <laughs> hey Lenny, 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 Lenny. So how are you feeling about this, Lenny? Well, at first I thought it was a bad idea, but then I figured they all lie if you think about them long enough. Certainly have been recently. I mean, why the hell not? Roll with it. I just told him we needed you along. I appreciate the confidence, Kip. And if we didn't rob this bank, we really would be slipping. Thoughts like that, and you're one of us, no doubt. Sure hope so. All right. Guess we're doing this then. You did well with that gang and Shady Bell. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> and I heard the rest of them have moved on from there now, so we must have sent enough of a message. I reckon so. <laughs> I ain't lose much sleep over them fellas. Me neither. They'd have loved nothing more than to strang me up. That weren't gonna happen. <laughs> not through lack of trying? Nah, not to you. You'll outlive a lot of us. Good haul, too. That dynamite should come in real useful today. Yeah, if we can even get near the bank without someone recognizing us and raising hell. Well, we'll have to see about that. Just keep your eyes open. Okay. Looks like we're actually here. Man, that was a long run. Wait, is that Valentine? Wait, things look greener. Are there seasons in this game? Wait, are there seasons in this game? Are there Am I gonna see fall? Oh my god, I wanna see fall. I wanna see fall so badly. I miss fall! I haven't seen fall in five years! I miss fall! Oh, I miss fall. Oh god, I miss fall so badly. I really wish we had fall. Don't do it! Don't do it! Yeah, it looks so much greener here. I don't remember it being this green. I remember it being desert-like. Is that because it was rainy? Is it like the rainy season or something like that? That's so cool! If that's the case, this goes deeper than I ever thought it could possibly go! Oh, yeah, no, it was. it is definitely okay. way, 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 Let's leave the here way off green. The main drive. Okay, you got All it. Alright, gentlemen, here we are. Okay, get ready. Alright, go for it, Karen. You got it. All right, keep it cool and follow me, fellers. Oh, I'm always cool. Look how cool I am. In my coat. Do do bank robbers always wear coats like this? Is that is that how this works, or what what's the deal here? So, we never decided. 
Is it lost little girl you want, or the drunken harlot? Oh, it's gotta be lost little girl. Oh, it's definitely gonna be lost girl. Uh, I think I'd like to see the little girl lost. So even you long to save the fallen women, eh, Arthur? And what are you trying to say to me? Heart. You really do. If you're ready, get going. Good luck, gentlemen. We got this. Okay. Should I put my mask on? I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh god, what happened to my gun? Okay, we're going. No, uh, hold on. Wait till she's gotten real dead. Okay, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I didn't have to shout anything. I thought you guys all. We are kind of here for fun. It is a good time. I will admit this is fun. Get it, get it, get it. You better open it. You better open it. Good, I'm going to beat you. If you get it wrong, I'm going to beat you. Come on, come on. How's it looking? Are you in? Clearly, this son of a bitch needs to get a move on. Get, get it. Get a move okay. On, get a move on. Get a move on. Get a move on. I'm gonna get a move on. Him, move on. Damn slow. Come on, hurry up now. Uh. Any minute now. Any minute now. Oh, come on. Stop, bitch. Hurry up. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you if you don't. Ooh. All right, don't lock me in here. I'm in. Someone come make sure the suit behaves himself. In okay. Here. Come here. <laughs> Open the lock boxes now. I, the, 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 the manager does that. I, I, God damn it. Now what? Guess I'll crack them or blow them up. Keep an eye out. Ooh, I can crack them. Can. I'll crack them. I'll crack him. Yeah, I like cracking. I, I should be able to crack these. I like cracking. All right, but you better be quick. Oh, I'll be quick. Oh, you don't worry. I'll be quick. Shut the hell up and stay still. I want to see this. I've never cracked a case before. I want to do that. Hell yeah. Okay. How much time do you think we got? I don't know. Not much. This tape is too long. I hear people out there. Me too. Boys, you need to move this along. Got it. Okay, that was harder than I thought, but I think I figured it out. I see him. I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay. 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 Going as fast as I can. This is slower, but it's quiet. Okay. Please, let me go. I won't say nothing. I swear. Shut the hell up and stay where you are. Bill, how's it going in there? We're getting there. Few more minutes. Oh, ho, 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 I'm getting good at this. I'll keep a look uh, at give me, 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 give me. How's it looking this there? This is a big haul we're getting good. here. Told oh, you. this is Don't a big haul. Can I? Just yet. There we go. There we go. There we go. Three of five. Even if it comes, even if they come now, this is a good haul. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's oh, another one cleared. This is looking good. This is looking How much good. longer? Nearly there. Okay, you reckon that's enough now? Maybe. It's never enough. Well, <laughs> I'm ready to get the hell out of here whenever you are. Let me get one more, because I'm greedy. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe I can get this last one. Last one. Good. We gotta move. Last one. Hell yeah, baby. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it, hell yeah. I don't know why I was concentrating so hard on that, but 
Holy shit, this is so much money. This is so much money. This is so much money. It's so much money. I should rob banks more often. This is a lot of money. Holy shit. All right, we's good. I think, uh, I think we're fine. Come on, I'll lead the way. Let's go. Okay. Everybody, stay calm. All of you count to a hundred and keep your mouth shut. You understand me? Easy peasy. Easy peasy. No one knows. No one needed to go in the bank. No one went in the bank. It's all good. Doodly do 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 do. Oh, they didn't know it was us. They might not have known. Okay, let's go. We can't lose any of this money. Can't lose his money. Okay, we can't lose the money. I'm riding. What do you think I'm doing? I'm riding. Let me, uh... That's the Carbine Lancaster. That's what I need. All right, come on, guys. We got this. It's easy. Sorry. Sorry, buddy. I mean, we're coming back to Valentine anyway, so no harm, no foul, right? Woo! And kaboom. Oh, you're going up? I didn't know you were going up. Yeesh. Can I make this chase cinematic style? I wonder if I can even do anything cinematic style. Nope, I cannot. Oh, he's dead. All right, goodbye. <laughs> this is cool. This is cool. This is the first time we've done a crime, and it's felt like a crime. Like, this is so cool. It was so tense. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, I thought this was just going to be a, like, this bank robbery was going to be a little boring, but no, oh my God. This is anything but. Oh, how many bullets do you need, man? Sorry, horsey. Didn't mean that. Got you. Okay, okay, okay. You know, we're all to the point where we're getting, like, self-driving cars, right? But horses, they can drive themselves. Why don't we all go back to horses? Horses are pretty cool. You don't have to do nothing. I'm trying. Who, 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 who? Oh, nice. Ah, uh, nice. Oh, uh oh. Damn it. God damn it. Somebody radio for help. All right. I think we lost him. Thank you, gentlemen. That was stupid and dangerous. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. We're alive and we're paid. Yeah. I don't see the problem. Yeah, and that is the problem. <laughs> Bill, Thank this you. is a very good take. That should be happy. Even if it did come with a heap of trouble. Ah, it was fun. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Maybe you're now, right. Now, go on, get out of here. I have some other business to attend to. Don't head directly back to camp. And make sure you ain't followed. Hey, we weren't at that camp. Why are they over at that camp? Uh, Mrs. Downs. Mrs. Downs? What about Mrs. Downs? Oh, that's right. I still have to do this. I wonder why this is associated with each other. Oh, that's weird. But how much money did I get? How much money did I get? What? It's not even... Don't even say I got money. But we got so much money. But... But we got so much money. What the hell? Oh, this is... This, I don't like this. I don't like the feel of this. That was too easy for how much money we could have gone. I don't have the money in my hand. And now I gotta go see a lady who's... Husband died. Who was only trying to do good in the world. And I'm going to collect a debt there? I don't like the sound of that. I do not like the sound of this. The music's getting sad too. Ah, something's going bad here. All oh, my ding dong alarm bells for bad stuff is happening. I don't like this one. This seems bad. It's always a high before a very low. And I'm not too sure I like how low it might be going. It's real somber. That's all I can say about that. Uh, hello, Mrs. Downs? Oh, hello, Gucci. Oh, my goodness, hello. Hey there, good puppy. Oh. Hey, boy. 
All right, hello. My husband's not cold in the ground, and you've come back here, Archie. I nearly paid off what was owed. Your husband knew the rules when he took that money. Now, I'm real sorry about the way things turned out, but he had a choice. Ain't my fault about the way the world is. He didn't have a choice. He was good, and he did good. There wasn't no choice in that. And you have as good as killed him yourself, and don't kid yourself. You had a choice. You speak as if killing was something I cared about. You ever wonder about eternity? You should. I hope it's hot and terrible, Mrs. Downs. Otherwise, I'll feel I've been sold a false bill of goods. Now, please, give me that money. <sighs> Either you got a lazy eye or lack of respect. Which is it, boy? I ain't got no lazy eye. No respect for the lacks of you. Well, maybe when your mother's finished mourning your father, I'll keep her in black on your behalf. You think on that, boy? Well, maybe you shall, sir. And maybe other events will transpire. You best stick to them books, because mark my words on this. Vengeance is an idiot's game. Ah, Mrs. Downs, thank you for your punctuality. It's next to godliness, isn't it? That's cleanliness. I'll have to take your word on that. Good day. Oh, I feel bad about that one. That's not good. God damn. He really is a son of a bitch, isn't he? As much as I want to empathize with him, as much as I'm like, it could be a good dad. He's still a murderer, still an outlaw, still exploiting people. I mean, as much as he wants to say, like, it is business, yeah, I get it. But at the same time, oof. Some heavy shit. Man. I just love how interwoven everything is. Everything is so connected, so deeply connected. I love it. So much story to tell. Hello, horse that I abandoned. <laughs> yeah. It's good shit. Holy shit! Oh my god! Good evening. Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit, that was, that was so much money. That was so much money. I'm going to buy all the upgrades to the camp I possibly can make. Oh, boy. This cannot keep up. This cannot keep up. Something is going to go bad at some point here. Hey, wait, the gang. I thought the gang just got, I thought the camp just was rolling in money here. Eh, whatever, I'll contribute. I mean, what am I going to do with money anyway? I'm not going to do anything with it, so I got to give all my items. You being a good leader over there, boss. What about me? I did it too. Boss, you remembering me? Can you turn off the damn music? Bam. Thank you so much. I'm gonna assume that I was named in person there. Oh my god, look at how good I am doing and all of you are just sucking dick. Huh? I am obviously the best here because I am freaking great. We're going to upgrade everything to maximum upgradeability. And you all are going to be like, oh, who do I thank for this? Arthur! You thank Arthur for this shit because I did it. I'm here to help everybody. All of you are just trying to help yourselves. I'm here putting money in every day. See that rabbit? All me. See that rabbit? All me. See that table? That dog? All me. Y'all suck. Let's have some fun. I like fire bottles. Ooh. That's a good one. I don't know if I can clean my gun there or whatever, but... All right, next in line. I don't know what that is. Arthur wants a map to plan dirties. Oh, that's me! I'm Arthur. <laughs> a fast travel map! <gasps> Wait, that was the... Susan! Really? Really? I could have had fast travel this entire time, and all it took was upgrading my tent. I didn't do that. All right, well, everyone's doing better off now, I guess. But if we'll get a horse station, sure, why not? And then we'll even get a boat. I don't even know what we're going to do. That's not any better. That's... 
Oh, okay. I, get, I think yes. I don't. That it's just three sticks in the ground. Oh, right, whatever. Boat. Get a boat, I guess. Got nothing better to do with our money. I'll get a boat. All right, we got a boat, everybody. Everybody happy about the boat we got? You better be because I did it for you. Because I'm a hero of this place. I'm the hero you deserve. All right, we're good to go. I hope you're happy, everybody, because I did this, and you all need to be thankful for that. Okay, people, it's okay. We're gonna eat just fine. I got us a score. Got something good. Uh-huh. I said, I got us a score, Miss Roberts. Maybe you'll let me take you out sometime. I don't think so. I shall. Hey, Batman, go buy us something decent to eat, hmm? Yeah, okay. Abigail, wait, are you flirting with John Marston's woman? Hmm. I ain't okay with that. I don't like you. I never came to America until I was a man. Well, 17. We grew up quick in Vienna. Perhaps <laughs> too quick. All right. That's so weird that you could just experience the culture of the camp and just talk to everybody. Okay, Josiah. That's right. Josiah wants to talk to me. All right, Josiah. You have my attention. Oh, you don't feel very part of the camp, do you, Josiah? That's not Josiah. That's Kieran. Oh, there you are. Oh, you know. Not too terribly. Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. Why, who would have even thought? Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. Okay. Mount my horse, you say. All right, I'll mount my horse. I don't know why I'm mounting my horse, but I'll mount my Where horse. I, find this friend of yours? I didn't know you had friends. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. All right, but you won't like the way I lead. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the My hat. Of you. My hat. 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 Hat. I need my hat. Got to get my hat. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Canes and rabbits to pull out of hats. Rabbits. I need my hat. Where's my hat? Give me my hat. Which one's my bed? I don't even remember which one's my bed. Where's my bed? That's my bed. Okay, that is definitely my bed. Please tell me that I can get my hat. Please? I don't see a marker on the map, but I'm assuming that I can get my hat. Hat? What? Well, God! Oh. Ooh. What? First bank robbery newspaper scrap? Oh, that's not my hat. God damn it. Can I really not? I can't. I can't get my hat. God damn it, life is so painful. They give me a hat and then they just take it away from me. They give me my favorite hat and then I can't even use my favorite hat. God damn it, damn you, damn you all to hell. I hope you burn. I hope you all burn in hell. <sighs> God damn it. God damn it, damn it. Yeah, whatever, just like you were saying talk before. to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know, you boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. 
So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. And very informed on the comings and goings of coaches around these parts. Okay. Uh, I see. Hey, I we see. We can hitch up outside. I'll Ooh. make the introductions, Arthur. All right, if you say so, my good lad. Hitchy, hitchy. There's very few times when I actually hitch my horse. I don't feel the need to. However, if you say so, I will do so. Can I get my repeater carbine? Please. Please. Nope. Nope. I, oh, yeah, no weapons in this town. <laughs> the one time I remember, I actually don't need weapons. Trelawney, come on. What are we doing here? Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. Okay. We don't want to scare him off. Well, what would we- I'm not scary! This is my big beard. I don't even have my bear hat! I can't possibly be intimidating. Or endearing, anyway. I'd take that out on a first date in a heartbeat. Take that on a nice tinder date. Seal the deal. Okay, hello. I'm gonna stand here, not intimidating in any way at all. I'm actually gonna creep forward like this. Don't mind hello, anything. Alden. Hello, Joe Zah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Dandy. Like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. Terrible they woman. often are. But how's work, Alden? <laughs> Terrible. Wages Terrible. got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here has a present for you. Oh, me? Yes, I doth have a present for you. Do you remember me? I paid a lot of bounties for murder. There you go. This one's a tip. Here. Ain't you kind, sir? Call him Martha. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Distinct. Okay. I do stink well, indeed. This is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Uh-huh. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there, feller called Hector. He's also one of the, what did you call us again? Discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say... Adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> we are all so fancy here, right? What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. Uh -huh. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Why do you talk like you got a spasm in your diaphragm? I wonder if, like, because that whole, like, transatlantic thing. That's not quite transatlantic, but, like, okay, I feel like go. just this people's way. desires to talk fancy. I just came out of nothing, I guess. Everyone's trying Ooh. to sound distinct from one another somehow. Never works, really. You just sound like a pompous douche most of the time, no matter what way you try to do it. That's why I'm proud to have a Cincinnatian accent. The most basic... And non-special accent in America, and that's been proven. Be. Seems a lot very, very basic. Are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Don't like he said, them. there, strawberry, could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. Okay, about I strawberry. Sure about going back to strawberry yeah. after all that market business. Yeah. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much, dear boy. Uh, All this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. <laughs> We're hoping to be long gone before that. <laughs> Dutch has a plan. Yeah, if anything Dutch goes do. wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. Oh god, why would he say that unless something went wrong? Something's gonna go wrong! We mans of distinction who are discouraged, it's gonna go wrong! Here we are. This is the spot. 
Here we are. All right. If you say so. Nice spot, my good lad. Okay. This should do. It should be. I'm hoping we won't need those. Uh, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do mm. I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden. Very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold I'm going to try to do it, but I don't have my bear hat. I'd be much better at sneaking if I had my bear hat. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. You got it. Wait, no, no. Oh, they're go I thought they were coming this way. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. Sorry. Pardon me. Okay, you do that. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. What does scupper mean? Yep. I'm looking for a mess of surprise. Uh, I, I, uh, I, I, I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. Everyone else on that stage was like, holy shit, I can't even remotely give a fuck about what's happening right now. <laughs> How much money did I get? I don't even know. I have no idea. I hope it was a good amount. Hey, Trelani! Hey, Trelunu! Hey, Trigolono! That's how I do it, baby. That's how I do it. I finesse all over them. You know how I is. I got the most finesse in the West. That's what they say. Well done, sir. 
Well done. What the easy. hell? What the work. hell? What? Work, my dear oh boy. my work. god, no. alien! Okay, I guess we're good. <laughs> Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. What the? We're not gonna talk about that. I think we got abducted. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we just got abducted by aliens. I'm not 100%, but I got, I got like a lot of pain, a probe like pain going on, and I don't know what to do. Trelawney? <laughs> okay, we're gonna pretend like that didn't what? happen. <laughs> we're gonna move on. All right. So we got him to go back to Jose because we got. <laughs> Because this is the last mission on my map. And, um, yeah, we gotta go. Uh -uh. We gotta go. And because it's the last mission, <laughs> and we gotta go. <laughs> so we're heading in to Hosea. Oh, yeah, the brick water, the Brait Wath, the Brait Wath, the Brit Wath. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I gotta stop doing that. So, we're gonna make our way over to the Braitwaith's place, meet with Hosea, and then we're gonna finish off probably the dynamics between the two feuding families. That's what I would guess that this particular adventure is gonna do. Now, I don't know if I'm welcome on this place, but I think I am. I think we left on good terms, even though I stole their horses. Well, this mysterious group of people stole our horses. Looked a lot like you, but he had a mask on. There's no way I could possibly tell if it was actually you. Also, I want to see Hosea really, really. Oh. What did we hit? We didn't even hit anything that time. It just seems like this game's trying to play the joke too hard. I ain't gonna laugh at that. That ain't funny. You ain't funny. Where is this? Hosea! Hosenaya, Hosen Bumbo, Hose Dumbo. Oh, hello. How are you? Hello. Uh, please come in, sir. I already did. Thank you. This way, sir. You have an incredible voice. This a way. gentleman to see you, ma'am. That's me. Oh, I am a gentleman. Your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Arthur, welcome. We're just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big, but his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but... One hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you in a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. They are having a great conversation over there, and I didn't need any input on that whatsoever. Hey, Sean, you're more no on type. I don't know why I like you, can but I, I like you. Nope. <laughs> I don't even know what we're doing. What are we doing? Why are we here? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we gonna blow something up? What, what the hell is in the wagon? Oh, moonshine. Ready? Let's get out of here. All right. I can't stand if that stuffy place in anymore. There, took everything I had. That son of horse. <laughs> I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. A smug fucker. Okay. <laughs> so what's she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah, using that back there. The moonshine? Horns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. Not only thinking this hell about my toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. 
Jose <laughs> really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, my mother for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. They're really barely so bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? The master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still, tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry, I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with Wait, we stole supplies, the race horses? equipment, payroll, especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. Didn't That's we get that job all. from the Grays? Just leave it to me. I can talk a dog off a meat wagon. <laughs> all right, then. I don't even know what that phrase means, but all right, sure. Can I still talk to you? Yeah. Nope, apparently not. Okay. Thought we were going to have a nice chit chat, but whatever. Because we don't need to. Well, I guess we're out of conversation for the rest of this, huh? You said you could talk the dog off a meat wagon, whatever the hell that means, but you can't carry on a conversation for the rest of this journey? Eh, right, whatever. More to you. Also, there's some weird level of trust that's happening with this old lady, and, uh, I feel like even if she is a sassy old lady, like, Hosea, like, she probably should have gotten him killed long ago, and if that's not what we're setting up for right now, then I don't know what she's doing. Also, where's, what was her name? Black Beatrice? Beatrice Black? I can't remember. She was so cool. BB. I'm gonna call her BB. BB was so cool. God damn, I wish I could see BB again. I th you gotta see her again, because there's no way someone like that, a character that cool, is just gonna come and go like that. All right, excuse us. We're just gonna plow through here. Right. Sorry. Excuse me? You not worried about damn grays. In what sense? Well, they knows you. Uh, you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can hack it. What? 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 What's happening? Uh. 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 Um. Uh, I'll be down here. <laughs> Just gotta fill in my own dialogue, I guess. Switch to Arthur's point of view. What do I got here? Ooh, nice ankles, Sean. Okay, I guess we're just gonna be silent here. Whatever. Whatever have you. Hope this is something interesting. All right, hello, we're back again, good friends. I don't know how we're gonna get away with torching all of your tobacco, but uh, we're gonna try our best, so heads up. Just a warning, I guess. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. Okay. All right. Hello, we mean no harm in the middle of the night. How you doing over there? What you want, boy? I've, I've, there, there was a thing, a, a, a thing, at the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I mean you no harm. Uh, I've come from Donegal, in Ireland. You don't say? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> they said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink, Sean. Can I see his ankles? Something ain't right here. Some feel I feel like something about this game Hamish. broke. Go to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> 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 fine the country you've got here. I'm not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. <laughs> 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 what does that make me? What does that make me? The guy in the back! The guy hiding under this! The guy whose head I think I can see the top of poking out from <laughs> Just over here. Is that my gun? Yeah, straight down the path is that my here. gun? That's my gun. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these deliveries coming in. Yeah, 
When they said they was looking for more drivers in town, I jumped at the chance. I never been a feller to kick a bit of honest work out of bed. <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Can't imagine. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Yeah, I don't Just know. In there. Me neither. I don't know the half of it either. <laughs> you can unload it here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, quite a place you boys have got here. <clears throat> <clears throat> big houses there. <clears throat> Real fancy places they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Because if some folks got all the money, they can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Okay. I was what the <laughs> I was really trying there. I was Hold really on. trying. What are you playing at? Uh, what are you talking You're about? Going the monologue. I'm glad I'm not your brother. Well, let's get on with this. I'm not the one who was dawdling. <laughs> okay. You can hold up in here till it gets dark. All right, let me pick this guy up. Yep, I do, I do, I do. It was dark. Wait, it was dark. It was just dark. We came in at the dark. No. Good. Here they got these things ready. Okay. Okay. There's plenty of guards out there. I really do think something Here's in this game got a little broken in this mission. You head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. Oh, hell yeah. Give me something to Cook burn. Everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained. And that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> How many of these boys do you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, All right. once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down out of houses. We'll burn quietly. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I like this mission. Okay, I'm super down for this one. There's someone coming on the left. On the left, you say? Who could be coming on the left? Uh oh. Uh oh. You don't see me. You don't see oh, me. Oh, hey. Well, I, I thought the wagon already arrived. This one didn't. Strange. So, what you got there? Tools, payroll. Okay. What are you doing, Sean? Drop it by the supply shed at the back of the fields. Sure. <laughs> See you later. You hear that? Payroll. Yeah. Ooh. Let's get this job done first, okay? We'll okay. Take care of this fella. All right. Take care of the fella, huh? You got him. Easy enough. One. You douse the fields. I'll meet you at the barn. Okie dokie then. Do 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 do. Blue the sploosh, sploosh, blue the dish sploosh. I give a sploosh, she's sploosh, sploosh a dee douche. Give a sploosh, a sploosh here, sploosh there. Little sploosh on your douchey douche. Yes, yeah, sploosh, she douche, get the sploosh, get a sploosh. You want a sploosh here? Sploosh, she douche. Okay. And a sploosh, she little for you. Have a look for this one here. Sploosh. <laughs> no one's gonna hear me splooshing in the middle of this tobacco field. Got sploosh here, a little sploosh there. Should be a splooshy enough. Don't listen to me splooshing. Sorry, I spilled a little. Gonna sploosh right behind you real quick. Sploosh. Sploosh. Gonna sploosh. 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 Crash your board. Try splooshing. Oh, shit. Not supposed to talk. Got a sploosh. Yeah, some good sploosh. Hey, you don't see me, uh, sploosing, do you? Stealth sploosh. All right, you, uh, you don't mind me sploosing over here real quick. Sploosh! Sploosh as fast as the wind! 
Uh, silence of the splooshes over here. You know, and finished off with one grand sploosh. And the tippy top of the field right here. Sploosh. Oh, hell yeah. All right. Sean! I'm done splooshing! Uh oh. That guy looks like he's in deserving of a sploosh. Let me go sploosh him in the neck. Never mind, you got him. Or you give this a quick dose as well. Oh, you get it. Oh, you sploosh it up. Fire up. Okay. Whatever you say there. Fire bottles. After you, sir. And, uh, sploosh you do. Woo! Yeah. Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. Shoot, but up! John! Ah! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> well, that didn't turn out as well as I thought it was going. Uh, didn't know the power of my arm was both overwhelming and underwhelming. Oh God damn it! I've already spluced this area to maximum splucage. Get him before you. I'm gonna get him before you. I'm gonna get him before you. I'm gonna get him before you. Get him before you. Get him. I'm choke you. Okay, thank you. Man, I've never seen a man sploosh quite like you. Until they invent video cameras and I can watch myself sploosh. I'm gonna go watch you sploosh all day. Alright, here we go. I wish I had some sort of like a trajectory arc. That'd be handy. <laughs> Don't, please. Rather you didn't. Okay, is it going? Where do we got company? Is this my good gun? I don't know if this is my good gun. Alright, Sean, where are you? Uh-oh. Yeah, that's one down. Good God, these guys don't die from one of these. Oh, this gun's so slow. That guy's down. Another one down. There we go. Wish I had my other gun. I'm just gonna go pistols for this one because I can't be bothered with doing all this nonsense that they want me doing here. There we go. Come here, you. Gotcha. Damn, shot his hat off. Got him. All right, what are we doing, man? What are we doing? Yeah, I suppose we can try, man. Wish I had my lever action rifle. <laughs> surprise, surprise. They didn't tell you that me and Arnie They didn't tell me nothing. Why would they? I told you to do a job, and then you gotta do the job, so stop complaining about the job. Woo! Where are they? I don't see them. Got one, apparently. Oof. Yeah, this is a pretty destructive piece of, uh, quest that we're doing here. There it is. Maybe Whoa, shit. Oh. Better hurry up. I'll oh, take this one. We did good, Morgan. We did good. Great, well, let's go. Sean! Sean! Gone any minute now! There you go. Yeehaw indeed. Okay. Oh, back through the fire. That seems like a good idea. Jeez, they're not gonna be able to recover from this one, are they? This is like a finishing blow for this family, isn't it? Don't you think? Damn, Sean's a good shot. 
He didn't used to be. Must be practicing. Oh God, why not now? Not when it's not comedically timed. Come on, get, 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 go, 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 go. It's okay, it's okay, you're a good horse. That's a good boy, that's a good boy, that's a good boy. You're not as good as my horse, but whatever. Jesus, that turned into a early party. Yeah, a little bit, huh? all that a party? That great weight had got our money's worth, Arlie. Let's just get out of here first. Yeah, this whole town got wrecked by us walking in here. I think they might suspect that maybe something's going on. Maybe something a little bit problematic with these newcomers that are so quote unquote helpful. Yeah, 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 okay. Help. We lost them. That we did. Quite a night. <sighs> sure. Interesting little fight Dutchess put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are writing that there's some money at the end of it. There better be. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Uh, yeah, I'll go to sure. camp. Yeah, I'll go to camp. Why wouldn't I go to camp? That's where we need to be anyway. Gotta get back to it. No matter what, gotta get my hat. Man, we did good. That was a fun one. I mean, I screwed it up there in the middle, but, you know, it's all on fire. I just wanted to feel what it was like to be lit on fire. Yeah, that's quite a tobacco high they got going on there. Everyone's gonna be feeling good for miles and then get horrible cravings. We're back, we did it, we're such champions. Can I have my hat? Home sweet home. Oh hell yeah. You let Jose know how we got on. Woo! Oh, that wasn't worth it. Oh, that was barely worth it. That's a terrible That's a terrible take. Was that even really worth it? The answer is no. The answer is a big old no. Oh, that better not be Micah that wants some help there. Please tell me that's not Micah. Oh God, it's Micah. All right, screw you. I'm getting my hat. I don't know where my hat went, but I'm going to get my hat. Oh, I'm sorry. You sleeping here? Pardon me. I'm sorry. Where is my bed? Get me my hat, my bed. You, ch Micah, don't say a goddamn word to me. I swear to God, I will stab you. Change clothing and give me my hat. There's my hat. There's my hat. There's my hat. Where's there it is. I was about to say. I was about to say. I was about to say. I better have my head here. All right. So that will do it for this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. How far in the story are we now? That is a good question. We, nope. That's not what, what oh, I haven't technically saved. Oh, okay. All right. Well, then we did that. Okay, good. We did that. Good. Great. Progress. That's what I'm looking for. All right. Thir <laughs> <laughs> We're only 34% of the way through. <laughs> okay. But this is awesome. I still love it. I still love this so much. This game is super fun. But thank you, everybody, so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Expect more Red Dead Redemption very soon. Should be in the set schedule that I imagine it will be. So take care. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!